What's up guys, Brooke Cromer from Athletes and Artists. Welcome to Huddle Up at Home, episode two. I am joined by my favorite coach, my dad, Aaron Cromer, on his birthday. We had to change locations of the studio this week. We are now in Inlet Beach, Florida at our beach house, enjoying some sun, also working hard on football, preparing for this 2020 season. So dad, can you just explain to us how you're going through coaching these players, staying connected with your team, and also preparing well for the 2020 season? Yeah, we're lucky at the Rams. We have a great IT department that was able to set us up anywhere in the country we wanted to be or was best for us to stay safe from coronavirus um, and still be able to uh, get a hold of our guys and meet with our guys. So what we've done is set up an office here at the, in, in Florida on the beach. And so I, I look here with my Exos machine. I video it to my to my screen and we have Zoom meetings and it allows us to all feel like we're just right in that meeting room. Uh, it can't be a better situation. We all feel like we're in there. I can see everybody's face. Everybody can see each other on the screen in the Zoom meeting, and it's worked out really well. We're able to meet right here, um, sitting in my house, looking at the beach. Um, I have all the video that is back at the office through ThunderCloud and Exos ThunderCloud, and I can play it here with my remote just like I'm sitting in my uh, meeting room with the guys. We set up Zoom on this computer, and I project, it, uh, uh, I project the video onto that screen, and it copies it uh, into Zoom, and we're coaching up our players right there, just running it back and forth. And, and like I said, I can see everybody's face on this screen, projecting it. And so we're sitting in a meeting, it's like I'm looking at them, they're looking at me, um, and like we're all in one room even though we're separate. So it's worked out perfectly so far, and we got one week in, and it's been great. So guys uh, feel like they're getting something done. We're learning football and correcting some things from last year and getting better at some things. and. I'm getting to be a better coach. So do you feel like we're going to be ready for this season, even though we've been separated from, you've been separated from the team and your players, you feel like we'll be able to play together as a team and be prepared whenever the season begins? Yeah, normally um, April 15th is when the players come back and they get back in the office and they're lifting weights and they're working out and we have short meetings with them and we can't go out to practice yet at that point. So. Um, we're still another 15 days away till May 15th till we actually would have went outside, done OTA um, off-season training um, practices. So um, I think that uh, we're, we're getting just as much done with these videos and these, these Zoom meetings that we would have. And we are doing a good job. I think in times of adversity, um, guys really step up to try to do more um, for each other and they become closer because um, it's not the normal routine. So it might even be better than it ever was um, because of this adversity we're going through. Uh, well, will we practice before the season? I don't know that. And, and I don't think anybody knows as far as before training camp and before the August season. I think this off season, you know, obviously there's a good chance we're not going to practice. But we've, the NFL has experienced this recently in 2011 with the lockout. Obviously, it's a way different situation, but it was the same situation as far as not practicing. Um, and so, and we were able to go into training camp with a little bit different uh, idea of how we're going to start and get um, the offense installed and work through. But I think with a veteran team that we have, I think that can, that can, it'll be an advantage to us. And to what extent do you feel like you can still teach these players as much as you would be able to in person on Zoom? Well, just running through these videos is what we would do at a, nat a natural um, meeting and so it's all the techniques that are involved in the plays that we're running and we're showing them those techniques and and they're making notes and mental notes and and obviously what we're what uh coach mcveigh has done a good job of he's copying a lot of these um he's making um copies of these videos that we're teaching these guys and so they'll be able to rerun those and re-watch those on their own prior to training camp so what challenges do you see coming out of this, bringing in the new guys that we just drafted, anybody that we pick up, building that brotherhood and that camaraderie before the season starts? Can you do that over Zoom? Well, it's always tough um, to bring the young guys in and have them join. And, and there's so much to learn, whether it's technique or, or how to verbalize the things that we're talking about and actually how to understand what we're saying. So they're going to join the uh, Zoom meetings on May 11th. That's when the league allows them to do it. And, and we'll get them caught up with extra meetings um, 
on the side uh, that the that I call the varsity. The older guys aren't uh, aren't involved in, and and that'll get them caught up terminology wise and what to see. But it's always it's always once you get to the field, um, can they take those techniques? Can they take those rules to the field? See it differently. Um, and put themselves in those situations to have that success. So um, it will be a challenge for them, but I think if, if they put their mind to it and they really decide that that's what they want to do, which most of them do, um, that it'll be a smooth transition once training camp comes. And, and our guys are so great. We have, we have young guys, first year players, second year players, just completed their first or second year. And, and they help, um, the, our entire offensive line is willing to help each other to make the whole unit better. What do you feel like is most important for these players right now, training on, them on their own and preparing for this season? Well, the one thing that the NFL has allowed is they've allowed, if someone doesn't have a gym that they can go to sing, you know, and, and still social distance, um, that we're allowed to spend $1,500 or send them $1,500 worth of weights or equipment that they could use to help keep themselves in shape. So. You know, honestly, most of these guys have something in their gym, in their in their garage, or they have a um, somewhere that they can go individually um, and not have anyone else around to train. But then there's others that are there, maybe in a remote situation where they need these extra weights, and so they're actually adding a kind of a, a virtual um, training program online that they can go to our strength coaches and and get a workout every day that can be most advantageous to them specifically. That's the key to the NFL different from college is in college, it's like every position. If you play offensive line, you do this workout. If you do this, you do this workout. And in the NFL, it's more for you individually. If you need more explosiveness, you're plenty strong enough, but you need to be able to get yourself to, um, to come out of your stance harder, then they'll work on those, um, those type exercises with you when someone else might be really quick at getting off the line, but they're not strong enough to hold up if someone's pushing them, they'll do a separate workout for them. So it's, it's always tailored to the individual, and this is even more so um, because they'll be doing it just like this online, almost you know, FaceTiming you know, to get this done or Zoom meetings um, the same way to get their workouts done. So I feel like every player is going to be ready. Um, and they just have to make that choice to do it. And, and the way I talking to them all, they're, they're, they're chomping at the bit at the end of our meetings to go work out. You can see it as you're watching them in the meetings. You can see them starting to move around a little bit like, oh, we must be working out right after this meeting. <laughs> and then I asked them and they said, yeah, absolutely. They're getting their mind into going to work out. And the rehab process for the guys that are going through that during this off season and this, these tough times, um, are they getting the attention they need to be prepared when it comes time? Yeah, fortunately or unfortunately, I'm not sure which, um, we had a lot of linemen hurt last year. So most, there's, most of the starters are in the building one at a time in the actual Rams facility, working out with our people um, at our facility, like I said, one at a time because they need the distancing um, because they have to rehab. So one, they're rehabbing and then two, they have to lift weights and do their training around that rehab in the building to be able to make sure that they're not hurting it while they're working out. So um, it's fortunate that they get somewhere good to go and they're working with our people firsthand. It's unfortunate that they get injured. With all of these uncertainties and going into the season, we don't even know when we'll start. We don't know what we'll look like. What are your expectations going into the season? Well, I know us as a team, as an offensive line, the guys I've worked with closely um, on these Zoom calls, um, that we're just looking forward to at any point, if we can go and play football, go into training camp, get ready for the season, and then go into the season, we're gonna be excited. Whether it's 10 games, six games, 16 games, a shortened playoff, whatever it is, we'll just be excited that we get to go out and play football. It'll be a good one. We're all excited for the season. Stay tuned for episode three next week. Looking forward to it. Thanks for joining me in our beautiful beach house in Florida. This is our new studio, guys, making it work.